Hello and welcome to a timeless pick a card. What image or images are you drawn to? And I'm covering up the words and the numbers for a reason because spirit really wants you to look at these images and see which one or ones you're drawn to. Perhaps you're drawn to all three as a story. Take your time looking at these images. They're all very unique. The first image of this beautiful energy closing their eyes looks like a feminine energy to me with lightning coming down and the colors of the chakra appears to be in deep contemplation. Beautiful, vibrant colors. I feel a lot of healing energy. And the second image, you know, this opening up of the arms and purifying with the, with the fire, the flames at the feet and, and the, the, the body being white and, and sort of faceless is like, you know, that connecting to oneness to all that is in this opening up, this, this open arms, this surrendering and this letting go and, and sort of this freedom feeling to me. And the third image looks like a divine feminine medicine woman, could be a medicine man, very wise. really focused on the crown chakra, the throat chakra, and the heart chakra. An elder, an ancestor. This is very wise energy, or this is the level that you're coming into. So whatever images you're drawn to, those are the piles for you, and they each have a different tarot to go with. So we're gonna um, reveal what they are. So right now, just take a deep breath, Write them in order, decide which ones you're drawn to. And then I'm going to reveal the number and what the card is called. And then you may be guided to listen to something else as well or get your confirmation right away. So the first pile is the shadow self, 28. Okay. The second pile is free spirit, number 13. And the third pile is number seven, Celestial Teacher. So we're going to start with the shadow self. What does the shadow self have to say? What does your shadow self have to say? There's the beautiful image up close. 28 is a 10. Ending cycles for new beginnings, coming out of the dark night of the soul, trusting your inner guide, trusting your higher mind, healed, healing on a healer's path. The shadow self has messages for you. Unless you learn to face your own shadows, you will continue to see them in others because the world outside of you is only a reflection of the world inside of you. You may be wondering why you've been facing so many triggers and challenges as of late. Things have been going well despite a few road humps along the way, but the challenges that have been appearing all around you recently seem so overwhelming and disorienting. Just when you thought you had everything under control, it seems as though the world has suddenly shifted. Spirit understands your confusion and uncertainty during this period. Rest assured, dear one, this is a time of cleansing and clearing all that was avoided and hidden inside of you. Healing of the worlds within is taking place and raw emotions are resurfacing. You are exploring and uncovering the darkest shadows of yourself. This is why you are being faced with unsurmountable challenges and triggers. You see, it is only from being pressured that this darker side of you surfaces. This is an important and necessary time for you. 
as hidden parts of you surface, be gentle, send love and compassion to the wounded parts of yourself. If there is rage, send love. If there is hurt, send love. May love reign on all aspects of you, whether they be dark or light. This period can be quite testing, being challenged by unforeseen events triggered by people closest to you. Through this cleansing process, your level of consciousness is expanding to new and heightened senses of awareness and clarity. As you move through this period, be assured that you are not alone and that there is light at the end of the tunnel. The affirmation is, I am healed as I acknowledge all aspects of myself. I am healed as I acknowledge all aspects of myself. And look at the card I used as a marker. Unconditional love. That's where your power lies. Unconditional love. Okay, so we're going to explore what you've learned in this shadow self energy and what's working to manifest for you. And we're going to use the Malefic deck for that. And these will be your ending messages here. Okay, the shadow self can you tell us more about this spirit? The two of swords. So when you take time to explore the shadow self and you transmute those energies and bring them to the light, you come out of a stalemate. So you're coming out of a stalemate. Somebody is coming out of a stalemate. Ending a cycle where you were stuck and stagnant and held back and it seemed like everything was blocked and it can be those challenges and that contrast and those changes that kind of shook things up, right? But there's peace now. See, with that shadow self energy, it's peace. That's ideas, a way forward and opening up of a path. And we have the nine of cups energy. Yeah, there is an opening up of a stalemate, some kind of communication, a path opening up, and it's about wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true. Being surrounded by love, fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled. Maybe spending some time on uh, by yourself just feeling happy in your own energy, open to what your shadow self and your light body self has to say, finding the balance and just feeling that, that, that light hearted, fulfilled energy within. It's just a really beautiful energy. And look at this nine of pentacles. Yeah. Independence, freedom, financial freedom, good health. If you've been going through any kind of health challenges or someone near you that you've been praying for and helping along the way, there is a guardian angel with you and your health is being restored. Your finances are being restored. Yeah, there's some kind of path opening up and it's an extremely abundant path, not only in money and health and finances, but also in personal wishes coming true. Like it's almost like right before your eyes, you realize Everything is okay. Everything is better than okay. I'm good. That's what I'm feeling. I'm good. I'm good. And there's this independence feeling coming from this path. That's beautiful. Look at that. The magician. Yeah, there's magic in the air. There's new beginnings here. And there is that sword of truth, right? Some kind of communication opening up. Secrets being revealed. The magician can be kind of secretive, right? So this is this is perhaps you. You're not really telling anyone of these changes because you know, you've learned from the past when you include certain other people, it's not good. And it keeps you stuck. And they tell you things that aren't true, right? I feel like all that energy is coming through and you're taking your power back. You've got everything you need in um, some kind of manifestation. Now, if you are the divine feminine working on yourself and you're moving through the shadows and you're wondering about a particular masculine. I feel like this masculine is getting ready to come forward and speak some kind of truth and it's coming out of the stalemate, coming out of being secretive, right? Some kind of independence and freedom with this masculine energy is giving them the ability to come forward. But no matter what, you are manifesting new beginnings. You're manifesting abundance in the material world. You're manifesting better health. You're manifesting love and wish fulfillment. Tell us more about this new beginning, please. Tell us more about this new beginning. Seven of Wands. 
This new beginning is about you making decisions and standing up for what you believe in and what you know is true and, and really standing in your power here with the Seven of Wands. You know, you've been through the battle, but this is you staying balanced and poised and you're ready for ever, anything now, right? Growing spiritually, being led by spirit. I mean, it's a highly charged spiritual time for you, so trust your higher mind here. When this path opens, when things open up, yeah, look at this, look at this. Seven of Wands, making the decision to drop the burdens, to find the balance, to move forward to to into this new cycle. It's been tough, but there's there's balance now being restored, like as a, of above is below, right? So when you end one cycle, you open up to a new cycle. A lot of spiritual growth. When you walk the dark night of the soul, it's not easy, but it's very rewarding when you come out to this point right now which I feel that you're coming to, where it's like the, it's ending and it's like, look at this, look at this, look at the cards, the lovers come out and I did feel a connection, masculine and feminine coming together, your inner masculine and feminine coming together, healing, sharing wisdom, you've been through the battle, it's been tough, but you're finally free and you're finally able to drop the burdens and pull your energies close, pull one another close. And I mean, it's like you're, you've been crying, you know, bloody tears, you know, trying to make it to this point. And this is healing, this is heart healing right here. So this is what you're on path for. And then look at this. Look at this energy, okay? So making the decision to stand up for yourself, to go after who you want, what you want. And then, and then no longer being a foolish fool, right? This is the fool energy, new fresh energy. So taking a leap of faith releasing yourself and others from harsh judgments, maybe feeling judged and feeling like people were, were just, you know, just throwing stones at you, it seems like. like and, and even trapped by the, your own judgments and fears, right? Just feeling like stuck and trapped. Well, there's this opportunity to, to leap out of this. Someone's making a judgment call because this is a decision card. This is a decision card. This is a decision card. So there's a lot of major decisions to be made. Follow your heart, find your balance, your whys, right? Taking this leap of faith and, and setting yourself free. I want a little more confirmation on this, the fool and the judgment, like, because that's making a major decision to take a leap of faith. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Some uh, Finding the balance in the material world, giving, receiving a gift. Some good advice. There's things coming into balance. There's a need for balance in the material world. And I feel that part of it is standing up for yourself. And perhaps someone is, is coming out of the stalemate. They want to give more to this connection. The masculine feels like a fool. I was a fool before. I didn't see the value of this connection. I didn't see the value of this partnership in whatever form it is. And now I do. And I realize I was judging you. And I feel so small. And I want to give. So I am hearing that message, but let's see if there's any other messages. I am hearing that message for sure they're coming out. I want to go down this new path. So see, we started with the two. We're ending with this, this two, this path that's opening up. Yeah, I want to give more on this new path. You will be receiving more love and gratitude and abundance on this new path in this new cycle. So there is this balancing and opening up. The need to make the decision to release this judgment energy and this kind of uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda, foolish type energy, right? But this is a balanced path opening up for the sacred lovers, for the masculine and feminine. And, the, and there's this new beginning energy with the Knave of Cups, the Page of Cups, curiosity, offer, opportunity, just this newness. And it could be an apology. And your final message is here, if you pick the shadow self, is um, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Yeah, go within for your answers. That's where your truth lies. Trust that. And follow the blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. That's where your wisdom is. That's where your truth is, the blue flame. I'm feeling Archangel Michael with you. How can you cut those ropes, cut those ties? And there's this beautiful path opening, communication opening up. So trust your intuition here. Okay. Let's 
clean this up and then we are gonna move to pile number two if you picked the free spirit pile. Free spirit, the death of the old 13 and this opening up of balance and stability, letting go, surrendering your free spirit, you're meant to be free, setting yourself free, a new version of yourself emerging, right? Because when it's down like this, it almost looks like there's no face, but you can see things are being revealed, coming into focus. That's what I'm hearing with this energy, but we're going to read a little bit about the free spirit. True freedom is attained when one transcends the illusionary imprisonment of their mind. Nari. This card represents the need to let go of limiting beliefs you hold within yourself. Beliefs regarding who you are and what you are capable of achieving. There are two types of beliefs. Beneficial beliefs, which encourage you to grow. And detrimental beliefs, which keep you imprisoned and bound by fear. These core beliefs lie in your subconscious and attract experiences that match their emanating frequency. So if your subconscious holds more detrimental beliefs, it is likely that you will attract circumstances to match that energy. If you find yourself attracting more roadblocks and hurdles, look within yourself and see what limiting beliefs you hold inside. It is these beliefs that block you from living a more fulfilling life of manifestation, inner freedom and peace. If you were drawn to this card, Spirit is encouraging you to look deeper within yourself and see what it is that is holding you back from living a more purpose-filled life. Do you harbor thoughts of not being good, worthy, or talented enough? What vibration are you sending out to the world to receive the roadblocks that you currently face? Remember that what you wish for in your life needs to be an exact match to the beliefs that are lying in your subconscious. If they are not in sync with each other, then it's most likely that your wishes may take a lot longer to manifest. What detrimental beliefs have you been holding on to all of these years? Reframe and replace any detrimental beliefs uncovered with beneficial affirmations. Yeah, that's why I studied Theta Healing and I'm a Theta Healer. So reach out to me if you want to work to um, you know, release those and bring in new beliefs that suit you. The prayer for this card Great Spirit, assist me to understand and transcend any detrimental beliefs I may hold within myself. So I feel like those are being revealed right now because the card that was chosen to mark the page for Free Spirit is intuition. So trust your intuition. The first pile spoke of this. I feel like they do kind of go together as a progression if you felt guided to listen that way. But trust your intuition right now. Okay. Things are being revealed to you, triggering you, opening you up, right? That's the point, okay? Okay, you beautiful free spirit, if you picked this pile number two, let's find out what's opening up for you. What's happening in this rebirth? Let me have the steampunk tarot for this. Okay, what's opening up for you? The first three cards out. Okay, we'll put this one down. So these two came out together. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Like it's in this reading. <laughs> Maybe you're a reader. It's in the cards. You're intuitive, right? You're feeling into your intuition. You're trusting it. Things are being revealed when you go within and you spend time in your own energy. This Nine of Pentacles energy. The first pile got Nine of Pentacles. So there we go. Independence, freedom, good health. Higher mind perspective with that hawk spirit is a hawk. But this is some kind of a, you know business taking off, health being restored. Trust your intuition and your guidance there. Open yourself up to this abundance, to this healing, to this growth. Open yourself up to your spiritual gifts. Like you're, you feel like this. I really resonate with this energy because my true nature is a free spirit, and you know I'm, I'm in it. Cards. I'm an intuitive card reader, I'm a medium, I'm a healer, I work with people, I work with animals, I connect with Mother Earth, I connect with spirit. I feel like you're like that. You're interested in different metaphysical 
uh, philosophies and science and, 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 you know, spirituality mixed together, like all of that stuff. And it makes you unique. You're very creative. You're very talented. You're very passionate. You're very open, independent, you know, and, and trust that and be happy with that. Like your gifts are being revealed. It's really beautiful. Trust your intuition here. And maybe you're, you're reaching out to get a personal reading and it's going to give you a lot of clarity. You know, go where you're guided. Seven of Cups, making a decision, right? Maybe stuck. Maybe there's a lot of options. There's a lot of love. And it's like you, you're, you're free to choose whatever cup you want. Whatever cup makes you happy. But I feel like Spirit's saying, listen, trust your intuition here. You're free, right? Because this is, this is independence freedom. You're free to go in any direction that you wish. So choose the path, the project, the job, the relationship, the friendships, the home, the car, whatever it is. Choose the cup that means the most to you, that makes you feel free to be who you are meant to be. That's the cup you choose. So some kind of decision needed to be made. That's going to help you overcome any roadblocks and challenges is finally making the decision, whatever that decision is. You know what that decision is. Yeah, I feel like it's it's coming in like this because it's time to leave the battle. It's time to change things. You have the power to change things, to hang out with people of higher mind that support you, right? Instead of battling against you, that cut your back. And you're like, yes, I'm victorious. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm getting out. I'm socializing with people. I'm making the decision to go after my dreams, to really open up, to take charge, to work together with people instead of against, like that's that's the path you're choosing. You could be up for some kind of position that there's a lot of competition and you're the one, right? You're the one that they're choosing, if that's the case. Because you're, you're being truly you. You have a lot of great ideas, I feel. There's a lot of passion. And look at this. Look what you're moving towards. Four of Wands, stability. Mind, body, heart, and soul stability. A new home stability in the home in the home, fruitful opportunities, celebrations, 11-11, alignment for sacred union. And look, she's got a card. Like, it's like, trust it. Trust, you know. It's like, you know. It's the victory here. And I feel like if we're looking at this from a masculine, feminine standpoint, whether you're viewing it as your own energies or your person, right? Feminine's finding your independence, opening up, being the free spirit that you are, working with your tribe, your soul sisters, you know, finding that stability, celebrating, aligning yourself with heaven and earth, right? That 11-11 perfect alignment, the portal opening, and the masculine finally making decisions, finally deciding and feeling very victorious about this, and, and, and it's beautiful. Okay, can you tell us more about this, this union, this alignment, this 11-11 energy? It's, it's about getting out of your head and into your heart. So you no more sleepless nights. Finding peace. That's what Spirit's saying. This is what's ending. Is You're ending this. This is the cycle that's ending by taking charge, right? Taking charge of your thoughts. Uh, letting go of those distracting energies, those thoughts in your head, those people that just always seem to dig and don't allow you to be free and try to hold you back, right? I feel like that is a big message. Like it's time to release those energies. Find your freedom and you are. You are. I feel like you are. And look at all this nine energy. So the nine energy, uh, highly charged spiritual number, a lot of growth, a lot of introspection, a lot of healing, right? And so then it's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like you have foresight. Trying things a different way if it doesn't work one way, right? It's like your trust and your intuition here and things are working out. You're seeing... You're seeing the other side now, and there's some kind of, of new beginning. There's some kind of opportunity, curiosity, learning something new, doing something new in your particular career in the material world, and offer an opportunity that, that's exciting, going back to school, taking what you've learned, seeing the end of the road there, perhaps graduating or, or getting some kind of certificate. But there's something new, some new fresh energy, whatever you're curious about, follow that. That's the cup you choose. And here's the devil. Yeah, look. And then it's the masculine and feminine, right? Working together. The lovers. The devil is just the lovers in the shadows. And first pile got the lovers. They've been through the battle and now working together. And there's a portal opening. 
letting go of attachments and codependencies and addictions and those fearful thoughts, all that negativity, right? Finally getting out of there. It's like, I'm victorious. I'm getting out of this toxic environment. Yeah, there's victory here. And then look at this. Hello to the oh, powerful, beautiful, gorgeous empress that represents a new cycle. Look at all that magic within you. You're literally creating your life. Gorgeous. Opportunity, abundance, prosperity. Powerful, powerful time. So divine feminine in your power. Independent, free, trusting, knowing, doing the work. You've done the work. Getting out of your head, in your heart connecting with the people, finding your alignment, your peace, like very balanced and masculine, making decisions, getting out of toxic environments, the feminine help in the masculine, whether it's energetically or physically, it is. And there's something being revealed here, like you're revealing yourself, like, oh, I'm revealing this opportunity. It's like the masculine sees you, feminine, sees this opportunity, or this is you stepping into your masculine energy, taking charge, moving forward out of this toxic energy into something new, this brand new cycle, gorgeous new cycle with the Empress. Can you give me a little more confirmation on this Nine of Swords devil energy? Because I feel like they're very much connected. Well, that's a little much, but you're stronger than you realize. A little much spirit and rest and recuperate with the Four of Swords energy. So make sure you're rested and recuperate. Okay, so what Spirit wants you to know is it was all part of the plan to help you learn, to help you grow. Sometimes they're hard lessons, right, with the Seven energy. So Seven and Nine energy is power, powerful for you right now. You're really growing spiritually, being led by the Divine. There's a strategy and plan here. So trust your intuition. There's a strategy and plan. And look at the bottom of that Four of Swords energy. Yeah, rest, recuperate, recover. Maybe let go of something. It's like holding on to something, right? Letting go. It's time to heal because then right under that is the King of Pentacles. And this is that abundance, that stability, business taking off, divine husband, divine partner. Mastering your physical world, your physical body, because kings are master numbers. So that's what you're on path for. Yeah, and right under that is the King of Swords. So mastering the mental chatter, that double energy. I mean, definitely, definitely. And your final piece of advice here and in, in fortune messages is opportunities. An important offer will be made, be prepared and dressed to impress. So there's some kind of opportunity, perhaps this king uh, opportunity to learn something new, to work together as a team, to do some kind of creative project, to express your gifts. Be the free spirit that you are, be open. And I feel that you are dressed to impress, planning, now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Yeah, for sure. With that King of Pentacles and Empress energy and Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, financial gains. So plan for the future. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a brand new world for you. I hope that you enjoyed these. We're going to move to the next pile here. If you picked the Celestial Teacher... Celestial teacher number seven, connected to your star family, the divine. A teacher is with you, helping you, ascended masters with you. You are leveling up to the celestial teacher, remembering how powerful you are, how much you already know, how wise you are. Like you're very wise if you pick this pile. And we're going to read a little bit from the celestial teacher if you picked pile number three. You are a spiritual being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. This card represents your ability to manifest a reality of your own choosing. You have come a long way and this world of manifestation that you now find yourself in reflects the wisdom, insight, and clarity you have embraced so far. If you have drawn this card, Spirit is encouraging you to share this wisdom with the world. Unlimited power, light, and sacred knowledge flows through you. For your heart is open and your mind is clear. Trust in your abilities as a teacher, for you have a strong connection to the universal energies of love. Allow divine spirit to speak through you and trust in the process that is unfolding. Trust yourself and trust what you know. Let go of any doubts or inhibitions that keep you from taking that next step. By not embracing and sharing the wisdom you hold, you deny the world the opportunity to experience your unique healing light. 
Many gravitate towards radiant souls who stand in power. You're a natural teacher, dear one, with natural counseling skills. By speaking your truth and sharing the lessons you have learned, you inspire others to find the courage within them to do the same. You are a unique celestial light with guidance of spirit. Your unique celestial light with the guidance of spirit will bring much love, peace, and clarity to this planet. The increased awareness and light that you have gained in this invisible world, so to speak, energetically, is invaluable and will be a resource that will inspire many. Release all doubts and hesitation. Be the divine soul you came here to be. Be the light, love, peace, and stillness that the world seeks. The affirmation is, I am confident as I embrace the teacher within me. I courageously share love, light, and peace with this world. So be courageous. Share your truth. Share your wisdom. And in the card that I chose, I've been doing this with each pile, to mark the page has something to do with this. And it's Mother Earth 22. We just have the, you know, we had a big 2222 portal, big energy shifts, Mother Earth, mastership. This is a higher level of mastery. Yeah, you're ready. You're, you're leveling up and you're ready. Spirit says you're ready. I know Spirit's talking to me too. To share more, and I plan to. I'm just figuring out how to do that to um, get that out there to you guys. Okay, Celestial Teacher. So what is Spirit's advice right now to you, getting a little more specific about moving into this role and this high level of mastership, connecting with your star family? What's going on, Spirit? Okay, this Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, so they're saying this first. Okay, so perhaps you felt like you've been stuck, bored, stifled, like nothing's happening, but while nothing's happening, everything's happening all at once right? Nothing and everything. And so things have been being worked out and there's this opportunity because with the four of cups always comes the ace of cups. Here, fill your cup. Come with me. You've been in this situation, this re relationship, this experience long enough and you've grown as much as you can and it's time to expand. That's what I'm feeling the most with that. And here comes the tower in case that you're not listening, in case that this, I feel like spirit has come in, is coming in gently. Hey, you know, gently. Come on, grow with me, come with me, it's time to expand, right? But for some of you, you just kind of remained in this state because it's easier, right? Okay. Well, the longer you remain in this state, right? Comfortable, but not really growing, not really doing anything, right? Not taking any action. Eventually, spirit comes in with the tower and says, okay, well, we know what path you're meant to be on and we are going to help you get there by like, forcing you to clear away what's not serving you, forcing you to jump out of that top of that tower of that house. You have a strong foundation, but you're going to need to rebuild because that stuff is not serving you. And this is also epiphanies and, and bright ideas and things to help move you forward. But it's the clearing away. It's the reminding you of how powerful you are, reminding you that the fears, the unworthiness, the doubts, the shames, the, the guilt, the 3D illusions are not your truth and so a spirit comes in and shakes your world up a little bit to get you to wake up and then you get this clarity with the page of swords you balance the shadows and light realize they're all part of you and it helps you grow in wisdom some kind of communication curiosity ideas those are those epiphanies and you're just feeling so much at peace so there's a lot of clarity coming a lot of peace coming but first a little shake up and then here comes the Nine of Cups, this prosperity and abundant feeling, this dreams coming true, this portal opening, just the wow, beautiful, gorgeous energy, communication of the masculine and feminine, been feeling it the all three piles. I mean, just feeling good and really balancing the emotional body and some kind of dream coming true. Being a counselor, being someone that someone comes to, you're opening up to that role in some way, shape, or form, whether it's just personally for your family or you're actually doing that as a profession. It's a new idea, a way to expand your business, a way to get things moving. It's all part of the plan. Everything is part of the plan. Yeah, look at this. Look at this beautiful energy. This is what you're being blessed with. It's, it's time. It's a fortunate time for you to get your life moving forward. It's your destiny to be this teacher, to be a 
living example of the light, sharing your wisdom in whatever way you feel guided, but it's, it's going to lead you to fortune. It's part of your destiny to really step up into this role. It's a lucky time. And then when this wheel gets turning forward, it's all this passionate, fiery energy, right? Part of your destiny. And then look at this gift from the universe. Here's your Ace of Wands. This is the new path, the brand new path, a passionate, creative path, sacred union, new vitality, a lot of growth. I mean, wow. When you shake things up, right, and go down this new path, what else is happening on this new path? I mean, you're here to light the way for others as others have done for you, okay? You're here to light the way. You're here to do something new, to illuminate the world with your creativity. And look at this gorgeous temperance energy, healing, restoration, reconciliation. There may be some kind of reconciliation communication from someone and you're like, whoa, where'd this come from? But it's, it's beautiful, it's healing, whatever this is. The masculine and feminine coming together. Your energy is blending the moon and the sun coming together, yin and yang. This is my divine partner, twin flame soulmate recognition card, sacred love. This is my recognition card. So recognizing that, something about that being highlighted here on this path, this is the path towards sacred union. And then we have the Page of Wands right under the Page of Swords. So yeah, look at that. Taking that wand and doing something, following your curiosities, making music, cre um, creating something beautiful, being very curious and passionate. It's just a beautiful time. And it's a lot of um, spiritual fire and energy, a lot of creative energy, and a lot of sacred sexual union energy here. Because yes, even as a wise sage teacher, you're meant to have new experiences. And I feel like on this new path, you will. And, and it's, it's just delightful to you, right? Seven of Wands. So this is standing up on this path. You're going you're gonna to come across people and you're going to need to stand up for what you believe in. But you've got this. Your loved ones are protected. Your ideas are protected as you stand in your truth. And you, you, you know, you, you've been through the battle. Spirit's recognizing that. Like you may have to like stand up for yourself at times. And that's okay. Because I feel like most of the time you're this peaceful, wise, healer type energy like myself. The high priestess, the celestial teacher, this, you know, wise sage. And so for the most part, I feel like you try to keep the peace. Like you're very peaceful. You focus on love. You try to find the balance. Even in shakeups, you always seem to find the balance and, and you find the light in it, right? And you help others do the same. But sometimes there are battles that need to be fought. Sometimes we need to be straight up. Sometimes we need to be a little more firm with what we're saying. And spirit saying, that's okay. Because that's part of this experience of standing up for people protecting what's yours, right? And if you've been, in, you know, in this battle and you like, there's, there's peace coming, right? There's peace coming. Success. New cycle. The wheel in the world, yeah. New way of communicating, finding peace. Almost like a bittersweet ending, I feel, for some people. Like, and it's like, oh my God, I finally made it through the battle. It's like, almost like this sigh of relief and like, so thankful and grateful and for all the help along the way and all those birds and just all that divine protection, all these activations. It's a whole new world you're moving towards. And you're strong enough for these battles. You set yourself up for certain battles in the spiritual world. And here, it's just to help you learn and grow and to take your power back. Some people are meant to trigger the heck out of you to get you to stand in your power and then their success. So I feel like that's what is happening here. Can you give us a little bit more on the Seven of Swords? Oh, okay, yeah, it's this uh, new fresh zero point. Like you're coming, you're making decisions and you're standing up for yourself and you're going after it and, and you're doing what you need to do and you're gonna be successful. And then there's this new fresh fool energy where you're just free. Kind of like that free spirit energy of the, of the pile number two, but it's just you're free. You're free to move in whatever direction you want and you don't have to do this battle anymore. But when the battle comes, you're, you're ready, 
when you need to stand up for yourself, either spiritually or in the 3D world, you're ready. And then you take this leap of faith and this new path opens with the two of pentacles, new balance path, you know, maybe needing to find that balance, right? I feel like the masculine's working to find that balance. The feminine's opening up, ready to take the leap. It's like they're both in the same energy, right? Ready to kind of move forward on this new path. And here it is, the empress. Like here's the new portal to new life to a rebirth, to a new beginning. I mean, the last pile got the Empress too. So lots of beautiful confirmations of a brand new cycle. It's a very fortunate time. Whatever direction you feel guided to move in, move in it, stand up for it, make that decision. You're being rewarded. Your final messages are strength, root chakra, smoky quartz. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. Yeah, all that you are, the oneness, the celestial teacher, all that spiritual wisdom and grounding it into this physical reality will give you strength. And then it's a it's fertility, peach moonstone. Let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation. And you have the Empress, yeah? And you have this fool, this ace of wands. That's what this is. It's a very fertile time for you. And new life is burst, bursting forth for you. And I'm sending you all so much love.